Welcome to the Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday, or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Today, it's a simple cup of Constant Comet tea and some homemade rhubarb, strawberry, and berry pie. We're just going to visit the workroom today. It's been a long couple weeks of very late spring cleaning and it looks like I have to clean the dust off my lens. My worktop is a basic strip of countertop from the hardware store and the shelves are bathroom cupboards, the least expensive ones we could find. If you check out the Habitat for Humanities Restore, you can find these items if you really keep an eye out for them. That is a little table my son and I made out of a sewing machine base during 4-H. It is sunny and cheerful and it's about 6.45 in the morning. That's where Lavender lives down there. He sleeps most of the day. He comes out about 9.30 at night. And these are just some of the odds and ends I've collected over the last 12 plus years. A lot of the books came from the thrift store also. That little shelf is a repurposed DVD shelf. And those are the DVD cases I made from repurposing Reader's Digest books. That's in an early video. You can find that in the video library. That's a Haviland China plate my friend Lisa gave me. It belonged to her dad, as well as these Thomas Kincaid plates. When he passed away, she passed them on to me. That grandfather clock case I purchased with my son and we went halves on it because he wanted the insides and I wanted the case. In the comments below, see if you can guess what I'm going to make out of the grandfather clock case. There's my supply cupboard. As you can see, there's lots of empty boxes and empty spaces. That means I completed a lot of projects this year and repurposed all of my supplies or used them up. I worked hard to use all of my ingredients, so I think I had a productive year. On this side is where I keep all of my fabrics. Most of that is wool for rug hooking. I haven't been able to do that because my hips went bad, but now that I'm all fixed up, I can start that project. In the winter time, not in the summer. And this is a china cabinet I thrifted last year for $25 on 50% off day at St. Vincent's. I'm very happy with it. We keep things for eBay in there as well as things for our private collection. It's very handy storage. And this is what we're keeping of the uranium glass. These marbles are from a recent thrift. I haven't shared those yet in my Thrifty Thursday, but I will soon. Well, let's go to the workbench and see what I'm going to add to my miniature studio. This future miniaturist needs a place for her miter box, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm not shy about drilling holes in my countertop because I believe in utilizing all my space. This is what the miter box looks like, and it's going to come in very handy very soon. The edge will rest on the back. I was going to glue it down, but instead I anchored it down with screws. I've measured it so that I can get the bolts in about an inch away from the lip underneath the countertop. And there's my saw. So let's get that cut and we'll be back up to drill the holes. Now that particular bolt is generally used for my vise that I have in the family room. So we just had to drill another hole to anchor down the miter box base. Very simple. I had to drill two more holes so the miter box can be flipped around for different angles. And that's what it looks like. 
Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. And help me to reach a thousand subscribers. I welcome your thoughts in the comments below. Check us out on Instagram and tap that notification button for upcoming announcements of thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.